Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to McAdies Entertainment. I'm your host as always, Adam McGahee. We find ourselves once more exploring the blood-soaked pages from the Marvel Zombies line of comics. In our last video, we went over the full gory story of the mandible munching mallard, Zombie Howard the Duck. I will have that video linked in the title card and the description below. In today's video, we'll be telling the full tale of the femur-eating flying Avenger, Zombie Falcon. No, not even our boy Sam Wilson was able to outfly the deadly alien virus that turned him and the others from his world into flesh-eating zombies. Homie also made an iconic but short-lived appearance in the Zombies episode of Marvel's What If, where he was sadly sliced in half by Okoye. Honestly, one of the most violent scenes the MCU has done so far, only to be outdone by the gory deaths of the Illuminati in Doctor Strange. Keep it up, Marvel. Us boys, we like the blood. Zombie Falcon's comic counterpart also had a rather short story in the Marvel Zombies storyline, but it's still a great time while it lasts. So without further ado, grab your best mate, sit back, relax, and enjoy the full gory story of Zombie Falcon. Who is he? Zombie Falcon, like most of the heroes and villains from his world, was infected with a mysterious illness that turned them into flesh-eating zombies. He made his first appearance in the pages of Ultimate Fantastic Four number 23 back in 2005. He comes from Earth 2149, but his well-dressed origins pre-infection were very similar to the Sam Wilson we all know from the main Marvel Universe of Earth 616. That all changed though one deadly day when a zombie version of the hero known as the Sentry made his way to this world. The Avengers tried to help the rabies riddled homie, but he instead attacked, infecting the heroes with the zombie virus. Immediately upon infection, Cap and the others mutated into zombies where they then used their powers to hunt down and consume any human in their way. As things quickly got out of hand and spread through the entire city, Nick Fury gathered the likes of Falcon and the non-infected heroes he could find aboard the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier so they could plan an assault against the undead hordes. Heroes like Tony Stark and Reed Richards were tasked with finding scientific solutions to the plague, while Sam and the rest were sent to the streets below to fight the zombies and rescue survivors. <laughs> you nerds have fun with your lab coats and your beakers. I'm gonna go bash in some zombie brains. Later, losers. However, while the initial thought of fighting off a zombie army may sound fun, the might of these superpowered undead proved to be too great, and the likes of Falcon were overrun and infected. The heroes would sadly lose the battle, and the infection would spread all throughout the Earth, leaving the majority of the Earth's population dead. Upset they were all out of precious num-nums, Falcon and the boys thought this was the end, that is, until they came face to face with the Silver Surfer, who arrived on behalf of his master Galactus. Warning the vermin that their world would soon come to an end, Sam would not even let the man finish his speech, as they viciously attacked the chrome plated snack. The surfer proved he packed quite a punch though, as he blasted the undead soups with his powerful cosmic blast. Despite being knocked to the ground by Thor, the dude simply reloaded and kept blasting. Furious and hangry, Colonel America called out to the boys that whoever managed to kill this guy would get double helpings on his shiny corpse. All hyped to hear this, Falcon went in for the killing blow, only to get his shoulder and basically the entire upper left hand side of his body completely blown off by Cosmic Howie Mandel. <laughs> Poor guy. A for effort there, Sam. While it would seem the Silver Surfer was near unstoppable, Zombie Hulk would prove that he was even more savage than him by biting his head clean off. A handful of lucky zombies then got to help themselves to the Chrome Corpse, where they realized they inherited his powers and then used them to hold the cannibal barbecue where they cooked and ate their fellow zombie pals. After using these new powers to also defeat and eat Galactus himself, the boys then got his powers, which they then used to rocket off to space in search of tasting new worlds to conquer and devour. While it would seem poor Sam had met his end after all this cannibal chaos, 
It is revealed he somehow survived this whole ordeal and came to work under a zombie kingpin who had taken advantage of the cosmic zombies being gone to create a new undead empire of his own. Discovering a way into the main Marvel Universe of Earth-616, Kingpin sent in Zombie Deadpool into that world to cause some chaos and get the attention of this world's leaders. It was all part of his usual fist big bad guy master plan and way too convoluted and huge to talk about in this video. If you want the full story on it, you can check out our Zombie Kingpin video in the link below. It's crazy. Check it out. Seeing this virus as a threat to their world, Earth-616 scientists assigned the robotic heroes Machine Man and Jocasta to go to Earth-2149 and get a blood sample from a non-infected human so they can make a vaccine for the heroes of this Earth. Upon arrival to the apocalyptic dimension, all would seem abandoned at first glance, only for the duo to immediately be attacked by a still very alive, well, I guess, unalive, Zombie Falcon and a group of other flying infected. Thinking that some new fleshy snacks arrived, Sam was very disappointed where he grabbed and ripped off Jocasta's leg, discovering she was not human, and called her a mannequin. P hey man, she's an android. Get your robot pronouns right, bro. You should be ashamed of yourself. Disgusted at these hellish creatures, Jocasta told Sam to let her go, where she then went full Homelander and used her heat vision to blow the dude's head into hundreds of toasted zombie pieces. And that is the full gory story of Zombie Falcon. While the guy did not contribute much to the overall narrative, I was pretty shocked to see just how long he did survive in the Marvel Zombies timeline. For the longest time, I thought he had died by the hands of the Silver Surfer back in Marvel Zombies 1, so it was cool to see him still around and kicking during the events of Marvel Zombies 3. Between his death in the What If Zombies episode of Marvel's What If, and the one here in the comics, I'm actually not sure which one is cooler. Getting sliced in half by a spear, or getting your head blown off by laser vision? Let me know what you guys think is cooler in the good old comment section below. With Anthony Mackie taking over the role of Captain America after the events of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I wonder if we will see the guy make an appearance in the Marvel Zombie series coming to Disney Plus later this year. More than anything, I want to hear what you think. Did you know this about Zombie Falcon? Was there something I missed? What other stories or characters would you like to see us cover? Sound off in the comments. Also be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed today's content, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the music in this video, it was all made by my boy Agnes. You can check out his Spotify in the link below. You can also check out our Patreon also in the link below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember you are awesome and loved. God bless, and I will see you in the next one.